Hi, my name is Sam and I'm one of the writers and researchers at Cake. Today we're going to answer a question that you might not have thought about before, so how much is a cremation? When you're planning a funeral, there's a lot of mystery around the pricing and you might not know what you need to pay for or how much stuff even costs. So let's talk about it. First of all, cremation is a form of body disposition. It's an alternative to traditional burials. During the cremation, a body is placed in a casket and the remains are then incinerated in a large furnace known as a cremation chamber. That leaves ashes and cremated remains. So that's typically what you'll put in the urn. And in recent years, cremation has actually become one of the more popular options, especially in the US because it's more accessible and it's also a lot more affordable. So when families are on a budget or they wanna stick with something that's a little more straightforward, a lot of people are choosing cremation. Before we talk about the different costs of cremation, we need to talk about the different types of cremation. So a lot of people aren't really familiar with the different types and that's perfectly okay. So we'll do a quick run through right now. First, the most common type is traditional cremation. This is probably what most people are familiar with. It's basically when there's a service. So the body is usually prepared for the service in some way, usually placed in a casket and it might be embalmed depending on the family's wishes. And because there are all these extra steps taken, it's generally a little bit longer process. It's the more expensive. Alternatively, there's direct cremation, which is essentially the body is cremated pretty soon after the death because there are fewer steps in between and there's never any embalming or anything extra. This is the most cut and dry affordable option. So how much does that cost? <laughs> While there are a lot of different factors, for a traditional cremation, you can expect to pay upwards of $1,500. And for a direct cremation, the price will more likely be around $500 and $1,000. Of course, depending on the place you live, bigger cities might be cheaper, might be more expensive. And there are also always opportunities to shop around. This is a great option. If you want to talk to a bunch of different places in your state or in your regional area and see what's the best cost for you. Last but not least, there are of course other things you need to consider with the price of cremation. So if you wanna purchase an urn, another memorial product, anything like that, which is always optional, that's gonna be an extra cost. You might also choose a casket or embalming or extra services depending on your wishes. There are also alternatives to traditional cremation or direct cremation. You might choose to donate your body to science, for instance, in which case usually the organization you donate through will actually pay for the cost of cremation and return the ashes to your family. So there are always alternative ways to keep the cost low if that's important to you. So now you know the price of cremation and hopefully you feel a little more confident making these decisions for yourself and for your loved ones. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more informative videos about end of life planning. And of course, check out the Cake blog for way more resources. Thanks.